Last week in round sailing, we drove a golf cart around Culebra together with Sailing Uma. We sailed to Calle Luis Peña where we found a bomb in the woods. And then we sailed to the pretty little island Culebrita. We said goodbye to Sailing Uma as they were sailing east. Before we set sail west, we went back to Culebra to get more water and to visit the amazing beach Flamenco one more time. That's pretty odd. <laughs> Find a tank on the beach. But I think it's because they use these islands, Culebra and Culebrita and yeah, some of the smaller islands here for target practice in the past. So you can find some unexploded ordnances, bombs and stuff in the forests here and tanks on the beach. <laughs> I don't know, do, do any one of you know what type of tank this is? Because it's not a Sherman tank, right? bit too small for that, I think. But it's a real tank, but I don't know the what type. I think they have to do something with this uh, engine. I think they got some sand in it. Maybe some new pistons and uh, some other stuff. It looks like it used to be like a four or five inch gun. Ten to twelve centimeters, something like that, and maybe yeah, the steel is about I don't know four inches, maybe ten centimeters. Have you driven Around one here. of these? What? Have you ever driven one of these? No, we, when I was in the military way back, you know, we call it Lumpen in Sweden. We always practice against the tanks as a B-squad or what do you call it as the enemy against the tank those were the Leopard Leopard 2 those tanks were called a bit more modern than this On the morning of our departure, we woke up to a completely flat sea and the sunrise, and it was all so beautiful. Way too early. We're leaving uh, Culebra. It's like, I don't know, half past five in the morning. Uh, but we want to leave now because yeah, it's not that far, it's like 52 nautical miles to San Juan. But we want to be there before it's dark this evening and the winds are going to be really light. <laughs> right now there is no wind at all, but yeah, we'll go and see if 
the wind will pick up when the sun rises here. When sailing to Puerto Rico, you don't have to clear out of Culebra because it's all U.S. territory. When you clear in for the first time, you get a cruising permit with a tracking number. As you move to another zone, you just have to call and give them the tracking number and the zone you're in at the moment. Unfortunately, the weather forecast wasn't very accurate today. Uh, it said it was gonna be... Well, what, what did it say? Like 10 knots of wind, which would have been completely fine. But it's more like 2 to 5 knots of wind. We can't sail. So we are approaching uh, Puerto Rico Island right now. Uh, we have uh, six nautical miles left until we reach the uh, what is it northeast point of Puerto Rico, and after that we have like 30 30 ish nautical miles left to San Juan. So after we reach the point, we're gonna turn and just head probably it's like more or less straight west. Uh, to reach San Juan. We saw a sailboat on the AIS, and it turned out to be a Swedish boat called Nanny. Nanny, Nanny, Nanny. Yeah, finally some nice sailing. Uh, we have a broad reach, 11 to 12 knots of wind, doing between 6 and 7 knots of the ground, so it's really good. We have about 20 nautical miles to go to San Juan. And uh, yeah, a bit different from this morning. We thought we should we uh, should have to go by motor the whole day this morning. But uh, this is really nice. Yeah, we have eased the sheets as much as possible and uh, yeah, the wind is coming from the northeast and uh, I just rigged a preventer. I'm reading such a funny book. It's called Landfalls and it's situated in Malmö, so I recognize all the places and it's really, it's really funny. Still happy with the Kindle? I love it. So We're doing uh, some good speed now, I think. Yeah. This sail is really good. Six, seven knots. Perfect sail. While Yuan was asleep, the tall buildings of Puerto Rico's capital, San Juan, appeared on the horizon. Such a cool skyline.
Yeah, I just woke up from a nap. Malin woke me up and... Um, yeah, apparently we're in a big city. <laughs> uh, yeah, I woke up to this. I didn't know that it was this big. It was a bit sur surprising to, be, to see all these tall buildings and... Yeah, cars and... Skyscrapers. Skyscrapers. Not skyscrapers, scrapers, but... Yeah. I like it. houses and we're gonna anchor behind them and there's the old fort that I guess we're gonna check out soon I'm looking forward to tacos and big stores good grocery stores and the best of all that Yuan has promised me <laughs> since we left Sweden. We're gonna go dancing salsa. Uh. <laughs> Finally! <laughs> right? We anchored behind Sailing Doodles and met them for a beer in the evening in Old San Juan. The anchorage in San Juan is right in the middle of the city. It's protected from waves and lays behind the two marinas. San Juan is a city that has a lot to offer. There's a lot of cool restaurants, food trucks, bars, and so much cool and very well done graffiti. The neighborhood Santurce is nowadays a very cultural and creative place. There are several streets where buildings and walls are painted by really good graffiti artists, both from the island and from abroad. It wasn't that easy to navigate in this city without a GPS. But uh, yeah, now we're here, West Marine. with West Marine and we didn't really find what we were looking for. We were looking for a stainless chain to the dinghy so we can lock it. Uh, they didn't have that, they just had a one and a half meter one and it's not enough. So, 
some engine oil and some small duct tape and stuff. So yeah, I guess we're off to uh, next door, Best Buy. At the electronic store Best Buy, we found some well-needed camera gears. And at Home Depot, we found some new water filters and a lock for Shabby. Since the marina charged $10 per day to leave the dinghy, we left Shabby along the pier. Där borta är ni lätta. Pigga då, du kan klättra. Ja. Thank you for watching this episode. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, that helps us a lot. Make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for next week's episode, where we explore the old part of San Juan and visit the Manatees Conservation Center. Hej då!